As I sat at me rosewood piety one day, making chores that were solemn and grand, Miss Mulligan's footman came over the way with a big billy do in his hand. As a neighbor and friend, I was asked to attend a party at Mulligan's social and high. And I found me the way, t'was the very first day Miss Mulligan learned to make homemade pie. Ah, from me buys, but that pie was a daisy, flaky and tender, crispy and brown. To see what was in it, the paper went crazy. Nothing like it was known in the town. Lemons and rhubarb and raisins and spices, frosting and ice, piled on the pie. Slathers of brandy and sugar so sandy, faithful to the dandy homemade pie. I out on the table that day, so it looked like a ship without sails. While Mulligan mended the hole in the lid with a hammer and two or three nails. Should it look very nice, so I asked for a slice, for I ate when I'm hungry and drink when I'm dry. So say what you plays, I've been in the days to tackle Miss Mulligan's homemade pie. Mr. Hector McGittigan, he asked for a slice, and he swallowed it down in a lump. He was took me the colic and cramps in the thrice, and the doctor came in with the pump. Young Wolford McGee kept gazing at me, I could tell by his look he had blood in his eye. When he hit the McGinn and fractured his chin for the slice of Miss Mulligan's homemade pie. Mr. Fogarty tumbled and groaned to the floor with the pleurisy pains in his chest. Maloney cried out, I don't want any more, as he tried to unbutton his vest. John Michael Dupree kept calling on me, he'll holy Olivia me debts if I die. While Gerald McCann said he pitied the man who would marry the girl in the homemade pie. Our rummy buys, but the pie was a daisy, flaky and tender, crispy and brown. To see what was in it, the paper went crazy, nothing like it was seen in the town. Lemons and rhubarb and raisins and spices, icing and frosting piled up on high. Slathers of brandy and sugar so sandy, faith, what a dandy home.